crossbow hunter and in today's episode I have a surprise for you yeah it's probably probably you can see it over my right hand shoulder right over there we're gonna see how that works we come right back and welcome back to Utah crossbow hunter where today boy did I get a surprise I got my hand crank back already it took about oh two weeks maybe to get it the whole thing done maybe less so kudos to uh, uh, center point I'm sorry yeah center point for getting it back to me so quick I'm very very impressed with their service so you also notice I got on there I got my speed dial on there I got it all set up um, I got a few adjustments to make with it still um, I'm not going to be sighting it in today or anything. I'm just going to be, we're just going to go over the crank and see how that works. So, um, yeah, I'm excited uh, for that crank. So, let me grab an arrow and we'll send this couple of them down range. Alrighty, so let's crank this up and see how we do. Right, the only thing I like about it though is that, that clicking noise. So um, probably for practice it'll work, but if I'm out in the field, I'm probably just going to use the uh, the rope uh, to uh, to do it with because it's more quieter. Um, uh, I'm just not I just don't like that clicking noise you know if you're, when you're out in the field you know of course you know the noises you want to be as stealthy as possible when you're out in the field so, I just wish they would have made that a more of a quieter um, type Thing. but you know what let me grab my lube and put some lube on that rail hold on just one moment let me find my lube here okay all right so. Okay. so I'm trying a different type of rube rail, rube, rube rail. See how that works. It's almost like a wax. Um, it says it's a lube rail. I'm going to spread it out here really good. Okay. So, let's see how that does. Oh. One of my engineers wants a drink. Which reminds me, I need a drink. Alright. I'll do that. Okay. So let's send an arrow down. And see how we do. We're not uh, sighting this in. <laughs> that came in pretty doggone good there. Okay, so let's just do another one here. Dad, I got a foot down. Okay. Let's put this uh, sled down now down here. What? What down here? Okay. A little bit more. Yeah, well, like I said, this cranking device is going to save a lot of energy on my back. Um, I did have a gentleman say try um, uh -oh. shortening up my, my rope. I might try that too, uh, eventually. Okay, now we're centered on there. Always make sure you're 
The one thing I made a mistake is I had just one side done. And cranking ropes are nice, but they are a little, uh, I guess you could say, annoying. It's going to take longer to, to uh, load it up, but it does save a lot on your back and your arms. And you can make, also make, make it a full day of shooting if you wanted to. All right, so let's send another one downrange. Okay, all right. So, we just did a couple of shots. Like I said, today it was just to uh, um, uh, test out the uh, the caulking rope. Uh, it works really good. I mean, it's, um, like I said, my last one broke. And you probably, if you look at my last video, you'll see that, that it broke. Um, so, uh, I sent out a new one and got a new one. So, uh, we'll be right back with some final thoughts on this. So, after consulting with my engineer here um, about this caulking rope, caulking device, um, we're both, give it a thumbs up, huh? They give it a thumbs up. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. Yeah, we give it a thumbs up. So we will be using this more. Um, like I said, just uh, today we're just uh, testing out the uh, the old caulking rope and see how that works and everything. It worked just fine. So with that said, enjoy your family. Keep your family safe. Have a great day. And most of all, get out there and hunt. <laughs>